It happened two nights ago, but it has not yet made it to the police press release. A home invasion in the peaceful tourist village of Crooked Tree, some 34 miles from Belize City off the Northern Highway. The victim was an elderly businessman who lived alone not far from the lagoon and who is so ticked off by being accosted with a gun and a knife and robbed inside his home that he wants to call it quits and return to the United States. 72-year-old Wilbur Tillett relived the horrifying moment with us today. I was sitting right here in this chair and the, some of my the other guys they were over there. Well, before that, I saw two guys that passed. Strangers. Strangers. I didn't take anything about it, right? So, um, about 8.30, the guys, they moved off and went home. So, I got up out of this chair just like that. Could I, you know, open this door and went inside to sit on my, you know, to watch TV. Before I sat down, I heard the door open again. I thought it was my, my grandson. Okay. When I look around, it's two guys, the same two, strangers. two strangers, one with a red cap, nice face like that. It was the same two who had passed? Right? Yeah, uh -huh, yeah, same two. Okay. The two strangers who had passed the house about an hour earlier wore caps to cover their eyes. When they returned, they stalked him and followed him as he entered his front door and wasted no time to get to the point. As I turned around, there was a gun in my throat, a knife on my throat and a gun in my head. They gave me the money and the gun. They tied up my hands, my feet, and put, put me in the room where I had the money, and they got about nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000. They took my cell phone, all my keys and everything. About $3,000 was in U.S. currency, because Tillett was planning to visit the United States. The rest he said he had collected that same Tuesday when he sold a few heads of cattle and did not have time to deposit it in the bank. The thieves spent about 15 minutes in the house slapping him in the face, ransacking the room, ripping the ceiling, looking for more money and a gun. After they were satisfied that there was nothing else, they left till it bonged on his bathroom floor and fled. But his family believed that the robbers could not have known the elderly man's financial status on their own. Tillett's nephew, Darrell Tillett, told us that a known villager, believed to be the mastermind, has since handed himself into police. He also lamented on the fact that Crooked Tree Village, a tourist destination with over a thousand residents, no longer has police presence. It's real sad. That could happen to any one of us. In our village right here, in the middle of the village right here, he could have got killed. Now I get report um, about half an hour ago that the guy went to hand himself in at Belize City. Wilbert Tillett believes that the thieves were monitoring his movement from here as he sat on his porch that night. One of them left these slippers right where he presumably stooped to watch the elderly man before pouncing on him. A businessman with a shop right across from his residence Till it told us that he is now considering leaving home for good. Have you contacted them and what have they told you? They told, uh, they, they, um, they told me that they will get back to me. Up to now we haven't heard anything from them. So far, police have not reported anything of the incident. Marian Ali for Love News.